Hey, what's going on? Um, just got a message. I wonder, uh, my name is Fizz. <laughs> um, I just wanted to make this video because, well, I'll just state the topic first. Like, how to do the vegan diet correctly and what you should be aware of. And I'm saying this from an honest standpoint. And when I think about it, <laughs> truly with an ideology in my head, I've been it for, you know, four, I don't know, four years. But there was some times, we can just say plant-based, I guess, because towards the end and recently I've, you know, eat meat and stuff like that. And, uh, so I do want to state some things that would help you out to the future vegans. That's probably what I'm going to name this video. Or just people who in general are just getting into it or want to look into it. So I can clear everything up. And I'll do it real easily and then I'll go into a little death to make it interesting. So when I got into it, I knew nothing about nutrition. Nothing about foods. You know, I just, you know, most people don't, <laughs> especially about nutrition, which is something really key, you know, really key in the quality of foods you're getting, where's the food coming from, you know, is it being sprayed with pesticides, how was the food treated, basically raised humanely, so, and like I said, I wouldn't, when I officially went vegan, stopped cutting all animal meat and animal products, I, don't, I guess, out, I just don't like the word products, out of my diet, I, I just went to a meeting overnight, it's kind of my girlfriend, because she watched Cowspiracy, and well, I watched it with her, then we seen a couple other documentaries, and we, I, went, I was always in the house, but Food was the last thing. Like, my whole life, I always won the six-pack. And I used to work out, do ab workouts, but I never got it. And some of it is genetics when it comes to six-pack and how the body looks, which is definitely true. But now I know so much more now. And my whole life, I, I was always in the health, but I never came around to nutrition and food. That was the last thing. And foremost, food is... You can get a six-pack with just eating the right foods, definitely. Foods are everything, and I, I think foods are even bigger than exercise. Stretching, in my opinion, is even bigger than exercise. Um, food is number one, though, definitely. Definitely, because it affects how you feel. And it's just really crazy, because I, did, I used to do all these activities and stuff like that, workouts, but I never got the body I wanted, though it was all in my head. You can call me what you want. So, yeah, I jumped in the vegan overnight. Da -da -da -da. Then I came, then I got, like, really into cooking. And then, then I started cooking all my own meals. And I was cooking all the time, basically, all my own meals. I didn't really eat too many raw foods. I didn't know about raw foods, which, evidently, there's not much to know other than the food's raw. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I probably had salads here and there and, you know, some fresh stuff as condiments or appetizers, not like main meals of raw food, basically. And so I want to get, I'm going to list the examples of what you should look out for when you are going to be a vegan or cut a lot of animal products out of your diet and what, and you know, just what to do. First of all, you know, processed foods of any kind on the American diet, whatever, processed foods, canned foods, and processed foods have to go. A, a lot of times while people feel better from leaving the standard American diet, it's not necessarily the meat, it's more so they're becoming aware of their health and foods like this, but you know, no one... Like I said, and I don't want to go off too much side notes because I want to hit hit it so it makes sense and then discuss it. 
I didn't know nothing about nutrition. No one ever said anything to me about raw foods or any foods, what's in the environment. Of course, some of this, if you live in the country, it's not obvious. And, but still, no one taught me anything. And I, we're all, no one teaches us shit. <laughs> I wish someone taught me about raw foods a long time ago. And so cutting out all processed foods, just it's not, it's not going to heal you. It's not going to help you, and it never will. Never, 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 unless you were absolutely starving. It was the only thing to eat. Process, processation is one of the worst things you could ever do to any of your foods. It just is. Processing foods is absolutely horrible. It don't matter what you're eating. Processed foods, super bad. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. It, candy bars, canned goods, awful, 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 awful. <laughs> Completely. I mean, honestly, I could not say this enough. <laughs> But I end it there. Two, you know, I, which is kind of processed foods anyway, junk foods, which is pretty much the same, just junk foods, you know, like junk foods, just not good. And they're pretty much the same, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, candy, I guess, but it's still processed foods, you know. Your diet ain't what I... And it, Everybody, pretty much the whole life, is, for the most part, on a plant-based diet anyway, on a vegan diet anyway, because that's what we do most of our lives. We usually eat plant-based cereals. There, it's most of our diets are plant-based anyway. <laughs> they really are for the most of us when we're growing up. I would imagine. I can't speak for everybody, of course. So. Plant based, sorry for the few. Plant based for three at the processed foods and junk foods. Plant based and whole food, just whole foods. There shouldn't be an ingredient list on anything, you know. It shouldn't be. It's sh if it's like a fresh guacamole or something, that's good. But as long as there's no, per you want whole foods. No, no additives, no preservatives, because you can get like dried food, maybe fresh food, frozen food, you know. So you want to focus on whole diet and whole foods is really good. Don't matter really what you're eating at that point. Whole foods, plant foods, whatever. Whole foods is what you want to focus on. Processation, junk foods, whole foods, plant foods. For um. I was going to say uh, additives and preservatives, you know, where your food's coming from, is it organic or not, pesticides, because they spray this shit with chemicals, is it monocrop, how fresh really is it, are the vegetables wilted, you know, not up to par, not right, and how they taste, of course. Um... Something to look into is your climate. You know that could be harder if you're try if it's super cold climate, trying to eat fresh stuff all the time. It might not work out, <laughs> but then again, it could work out. But I'm just saying, you gotta really listen to your body. Seven, really listen to your body. You know, if you do want meat, you should eat meat. You shouldn't or something, eggs, milk. You shouldn't. Li you should listen to your body. I don't care. get the ideology out of your head because that's the that's gonna be up your ass. These people have no empathy, and once they start doing this, most people, like I said, aren't plant-based most of their life. They don't even know it. Like, this is something new. No, they're just hyping it. This is all hype. <laughs> and I'm just making this on the spot, really. Like, my th the thought process of it is on the thought. Like, I do most of my stuff anyway. I don't plan this out or anything, and you can tell sometimes, but I don't believe in rapid fire. Da, 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 da. People talk too much. Seven, like I said, listen to your body. Some people are, can probably go plant based for fucking ever or eat vegan forever. Good for them. <laughs> Some people are going to have problems. You got to listen to your body, and you just got to listen to your body. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with incorporating. Not everybody. Some people can't tolerate any dairy products, so they're gonna have to eat meat. <laughs> I mean, there's no way around that. 
if they need to eat meat, you know, and having a little bit of meat here and there or d dairy products, eggs, that's not, you know, if you're cutting your consumption, that's fine, you know what I mean? I, I think that's the main goal everyone's trying to reach and be more ethical and to look into the health, which is good. When you eat foods, it should be one ingredients, whole foods. If you are eating meat, you want to get grass-fed, you want to get organic, or you mainly raise. More so, you mainly raise free-range. Pat, You want to get pasture-raised, grass-fed. That's what you want to aim for. Wild-caught. You know. Um, and know where the food's coming from, too. That's always a good thing, is kind of know where your food's sometimes coming from. And like I said, listening to the body, don't, you know... If you're gonna be working out all the time, be a bodybuilder or do some exclusive stuff like that involves labor, it's gonna be hard to be a vegan. They're not muscle builders. It's more sustainability, surviving. I'm not saying you can't thrive, but bodybuilding foods are mostly made of animals. It just, you are what you eat. And you can survive off of plants. You definitely can. It's not possible. I mean, it is possible. It's not impossible. You can do it. <laughs> it does have... Don't listen to people. Uh, uh, vitamins, this and that. I mean, whatever, dude. You got to listen to your body. You know, your body's not lacking vitamin A. Your body's either lacking animal foods. Who Forget about the vitamins, the nutrients, the minerals... Omega threes, fuck all that. That's just some stuff. That, sorry for the swearing, <laughs> but they, it's just some nonsense, some pseudoscience. It doesn't matter. It if you want to eat butter, eat the butter. You may you may be just go. You may only need a little bit of animal products or an, or meat in your diet. You may not need none at all. You may need a lot. If a lot of people who live a vegan lifestyle. I'm not judging them or anything. They, half of them will say they don't do a lot of physical activity. You vegetate. That's why you are what you eat. It's, it's kind of a joke, but at the same time, it's not. I mean, some, you know, if you look at all the athletes, all the athletes are aware, they're not, they're eating meat. And people eat meat to survive and thrive. And did it all over the world. I have nothing against vegans. You can do what you want. I'm not saying it isn't possible. You gotta understand though. When you watch people on YouTube. And watch documentaries. All of them are biased. None of them are really giving you a truth. Few people are. I'm one of them. I'm here to help. That's why I made this video. Because I have concern. I have care. I have care. And I want to let you know. Because no one lets you know shit. Especially about di diets number one. And no one tells you nothing. I know this world's cruel they don't tell you shit <laughs> like I said and you can fluctuate you just really gotta listen to your body and the whole foods thing gotta be whole foods that's you know that's that's the key right there raw foods you want to do that incorporating that that's something the more I get into raw foods I'm heavy believer salads and fruits super heavy believer you know and those are so easy to eat and whip up it's hard to do that lifestyle though you have to go through some shit to eat some raw food not everybody's just gonna go eat raw food you have to go through some shit to really get to raw food i'm telling you some people can just do it and the tan the taste can be bland you know but you gotta understand these people no, when people go raw vegan, they're completely against the animal foods and stuff like this. I eat all my food pretty much raw. I might be incorporating some cooked stuff, but that's not for this video anyway. <laughs> um, and it doesn't matter if you cook stuff. It's all up to you and what you want. You know, you can't force something upon you that's not going to work. You can try stuff out. And that's another thing to look into, too. When you see people, you know, I'm not even going to say they're names which I when I became vegan I didn't watch all these super popular people that are going back and forth on their diets or you know influencing me I mean I'd watch the video I wasn't following any vegans I didn't have any vegan friends 
like I said, most people are vegan anyway or plant-based because that's what we're raised on. We just are <laughs> not processed stuff, the bad stuff. Um, there's a lot of hype out there too, propaganda, of course. And what I say is these influencers on YouTube, you know, you don't know what they're living. You don't know whether are they just sitting in their house. Yeah, anybody can, you know, you don't know what they're doing. You got to really be aware if you are watching these people and what's going on. As soon as you watch something, it's influence. Watching this video is influencing, but you, I, you can see there's a borderline, and I'm telling you about both sides. You know, doing something extreme, it's best to take steps when you get there or to get there, wherever you want to go, little baby steps. Um, you know, and look at how these people are acting towards each other and how they really want to be. You know, these people are oh, I'm completely against animal products. It's not right. People have ate, you've ate animal products and everyone around you eats animal products and people have been doing it all their lives and all the history that we know about, you know. It's one thing to stand up for something, but to judge other people is completely wrong. And a lot of egotistical and ideology falls a lot heavy. So don't fall into that. Um, and also, just really be aware of these people. Some people that are carnivore diet, you know, they're going, they're, that's fine. Even you know, if it works, it works. But they're going, they're doing the same thing as the vegans and they're just judgmental. That's a war. War's always going to go on and be like that. Just don't be caught in it, you know what I mean? Or be in the middle, be balanced. And that's something hard for me and something I never liked balance at all. It just wasn't me. Just didn't like it. Kind of extremist myself, you could say. Uh, and basically, uh, I guess another, uh, just be really aware about these people. You don't know what they're doing on camera. You, they say they're eating all carnivore, all raw. And be really aware because people are just doing it for views and money and attention. You know, the whole nine yards. And another thing I'm going to say is make your own food. I mean, so you know what's going on in your food. And avoid canned food, like I said. It's pretty much all. If you have any video requests, let me know. I pretty much summed everything up. You know, some of these people are like, they're just, ah, they're just all over the place, and it's too much. They're too judgmental, and they're, they're oh, I'm all for vegan. You can't eat any freaking meat. Da, 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 da. I mean, I was there too, but I wasn't going out and preaching on YouTube. These people are crazy. I mean, they're crazy, <laughs> and they're getting paid for it, which even makes it them crazier for it <laughs> a lot of this is money motivated they're not being honest and having an open view and they're judging people so yeah if you have any video requests let me know any questions uh su subscribe to the channel give it a share you know like if you uh killed a pigeon today and didn't need it sh saw it in the air shot it give me a thumbs down if you know you fed a pigeon today, and it died. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, have a great day.